Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our next personal break of the day. We do have two more boxes of 2020 Top Star Wars Holocron to open up. These are from William G. from Nevada. So thank you so much, William, for letting me check these on out for you. Hope to open you up some awesome Star Wars cards to add to your collection. Each box of Holocron does guarantee one autograph per box. However, sketch cards count as additional hits. I don't know if it technically counts as an additional hit, but printing plates to me are there are 101, so those to me count as additional hits. You can get those as well. Just guaranteed one autograph, but you'll never know what you'll find here. Let's go ahead and get on into these two boxes by snapping us into the corner. And I'm very excited to go ahead and check these out. Now, it has been a while. I feel like I've said this like eight times in a row. It's been a while since we found a printing plate. I would love to find one here for William. Maybe even two back to back. When we were opening up our cases during already last Wednesdays? No, two Wednesdays ago. Jeez, Holocron's been out for two weeks. Ooh. But during two Wednesdays ago, live stream, we opened up four cases of Holocron. We did average one printing plate per case. Uh, to be fair, one plate was kind of stacked, or one case was stacked with plates, and then the other ones were kind of eh. But I've seen other people open up cases and get like two to three plates per case, so... Certainly there's going to be cases that have less out there, but I still feel like we should have been... We should have seen one by now in all these recorded personal breaks. I feel like we have been in a drought of plates, and I hope to overcome that today. I need space for the foils here. I didn't leave that space open properly. So hopefully we'll find at least one gorgeous sketch card and at least one printing plate. That is my goal here for these two boxes. If I foil Luke, But yes, we're almost coming to an end with all of our Holocron openings now. Don't get too excited, you guys. I know a lot of you Star Wars fans are getting a little tired of Holocron because we have won so much here. Uh, we are getting close to the end, and it's going to be sad. You guys are going to miss it when it's gone. Uh, but we have a little under one case left in stock. We do have some scheduled for tomorrow night's personal breaks. We do do those live breaks every Saturday night, uh, forbidding any emergencies, at 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time starting... Uh, we do have how many? One, two, three, four already scheduled for Saturday night. However, we are getting a little low on supplies, so make sure if you don't want to miss out on Holocron to get your order in soon. We have our autograph. We have a Commander Dane Jer Al Lampert auto. That is number 133 out of 306. That is our guaranteed hit of box number one. After Holocron, the next set to come out, I believe, is Signature Series in March. That is just the one card, one box product, one one encased autograph per box there. And they are going to be sticker autos if the sell sheet is to believed, be believed. So that'll be an interesting yet fun, really quick product to open when that releases. Then Holocron, not Holocron, Mandalorian Season 2 will be releasing as of right now in, Mar in May. Why am I stumbling with this... I'm just stumbling with everything. Allie Stumbles, title of the video. Uh, but that should be in May, and then no other sets have been announced for this year, Star Wars-wise. We have a green wicket for Leota. We've yet to find any color parallels here in this box that were numbered. Obviously, you have your greens and your foils for parallels. Usually, you're getting at least two numbered cards per box, though, not including the auto. We do have an orange, though, so we have one of our two. That makes, makes me feel better. I was like, where are our parallels? We do have an orange for Lom. That here is number 10 of 99. Get that sleeved up. And all right, next pack. Foil Cardoon. And just four packs remaining here in box number one. Where 
is our next parallel? Where are you? Not here in this pack. Interesting. All right. And last pack of box number one. What is going on here? Looks like we have. Here it is. It is an insert charting the galaxy Bespin 7 of 99 orange parallel. I was worried. I was like, where is our next parallel? Because we are getting two numbered cards per box. Minimum. Hadn't seen the less. So I'm very glad to find that one here. Give it Allie some stress here. Wait until the last pack to give us our final orange of the box. Alrighty, let's move on into box number two. And I'll do a recap as usual at the end of the second box here. All right, pack number one. Start off with two greens, Trudgeon and Jar Jar. Greens again, Ray and Darth Maul. Foil Watto. Green Seventh Sister and a Foil Django. We have our autograph. It is Ian Ruskin as Chancellor Valorum, base autograph from the Clone Wars, animated Valorum. That is number 179 out of 500. Ian Ruskin autograph is our guaranteed hit of box number two. Oops, I put planets in the wrong pile. My apologies, everyone at home who's been yelling at the, uh, the camera for the past five minutes. Allie, it's in the wrong pile. My apologies. I normally do put the planets up there, so I guess I'm just naturally wanting to put them in that spot. Foil Young Boba. Have a green and a foil fin. Is the second box here going to end our printing plate drought? Leave your bets in the comment section down below. Foil Kylo. Down to the last four packs of this box here for William, I believe. Oh, we do have another orange charting galaxy insert, two of 99, Naboo. William's on his way to completing an orange parallel set, it seems, here of the specific insert. Already have two out of the, I think, 15 or 20 in the set. Yeah, I believe it's a 20-card set. You're a tenth of the way there, William, if you wanted to complete it. There, we have another orange. We have Watto. Orange, our second orange of box number two. That is number 71 of 99. 
Let's see, last pack here. What will we find? Uh, nothing fancy here hidden in our last pack. Foil boss nest and a Kit Fisto lightsaber insert. So I'm going to go ahead and move this box out of the way. We'll go ahead and do a recap here of the pulls from boxes one and two for William. Not sure why I picked up the base like that. But there we go. Base is all straightened up. Let me fix these greens. Files are a little out of control here. I want to go ahead and get those straightened on up. All right, so we did end up with four orange parallels, two charting the galaxy insert planet oranges of Naboo and Bespin out of 99 there, both numbered out of 99. And then two base parallels, we had Watto and Forlom, again, numbered out of 99 on those as well. We had two base autos, we had the Ian Ruskin numbered out of 500 and the Al Lampert numbered out of 306. Very interesting numbering on some of these base autographs. But that will do it here for these two boxes. So thank you so much, William, for letting me open up two more boxes for you of Holocron. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. If you guys out there watching enjoyed the video as well, which I hope you did, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, like I was asking earlier in the video, make sure to go ahead and leave those thoughts for me down below. Unfortunately, did not break our plate drought, but I hope you guys are still interested in seeing more Holocron. Like I said, we're almost getting to the end. I'm so excited to see what we will finally have, the complete picture of what we've opened here, how many plate autos, how many plate, how many sketches, what really cool autographs we'll find in all the cases we've had here at Titan Cards. So I'm excited to see and sad to see Holocron go, but I'm excited to see everything that's come out of this product. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. Also, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, almost forgot this part, but if you're not yet part of our family, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. I'd love to have you with you. Excuse me. Again, title of this video, Ali Stumbles. Love to have you with us as I continue to grow here on YouTube. So thank you so much. Also, before we go, I have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you to all of our Black Label fans. We have Andin. Oops, my... my. All right, hold on. I don't have the images up because I have two files on screen that show which is which, which is the ones that are shown at the end, the end of the video. Let me do it by memory. For our Black Label fans, we have Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Pooh Bear, and Stephen Olivo. And then for our Gem Mint fans, we have... Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, House Style 13, Jake Ryan OC, Michael C, and Stephen Bly. Let me go ahead and check. I think I finally got the hang of it forcibly. I did! I got everybody. So thank you so much to all of our channel members for going above and beyond of their support with their support here of the channel. Greatly appreciated. And of course, all channel members do get their names shown on screen at the end of the video. So thank you for watching, everyone. Do have a couple more personal breaks to go today. No more Holocron, but we do have two tins of the Mandalorian Season 1 cards and also two baseball openings to get on into. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, hope to get you in the next video. Bye!